Hello everybody, I am back for another video and today we are on Roanoke Island in North Carolina traveling along State Route 64 to the town of Manteo, North Carolina. The town of Manteo has a population of 1,434 as of the 2010 census and it is the county seat of Dare County. It was founded in 1865 and incorporated in 1899. The town is named after Manio, who was a Native American Croatan and was the chief of the local tribe. Chief Manio made a long trip overseas as an ambassador of goodwill to the late 16th century English explorers. He was, in fact, one of the first American residents to travel to Europe as an honored and distinguished guest. Surprisingly, this is not the most notable footnote of the town's history. The town Manio is also home to one of the world's longest running historical mysteries and that is the disappearance of the lost colony in 1597. After a series of surface explorations, including one commandeered by Sir Walter Raleigh himself, a new colony was sent to Roanoke Island to settle and begin the English expansion of the New World. It was led by John White. The colonists arrived in Manio and quickly set to building and creating a new settlement. In the process of building a new civilization, John White's own daughter gave birth to the country's first English child, Virginia Dare, for which the Outer Banks' home county is named. Months later, however, supplies had run short and John White had to make a hesitant trip home to England to resupply the camp. Once in Europe, White found himself bogged down by both government inquiries and bad weather and it wasn't until 1590 that he was able to make the long voyage back to Manio to bring help to his colony, his daughter, and his new granddaughter. Sadly, when he returned, he found the entire colony had been virtually wiped off the map with only a minor clue to their fate carved into two neighboring trees, the words Crow and Croatan.
1999, North Carolina Public Radio, NPR, WUNC, began broadcasting in Manio as part of an effort to bring public radio to one of the largest areas on the east coast of the United States without such service. In 2005, Manio restored its coastal warning display tower and it's now operated by the Manio branch of the North Carolina Maritime Museum. And also Andy Griffith was a longtime resident of Manio prior to his death in 2012. He is also buried on the island. this brings us to the end of our video once again hope you all enjoyed it i'll see you all in the next one have a great rest of your day